they feel the need to protect themselves about certain situations. Sometimes they can be very defensive. Okay. And I feel like you're kind of urging this person to write down their goals, write down their dreams because they're so spontaneous. I feel like you're kind of initiating this person to um, make plans for the future, to write down their goals, to make a one-year plan, to make a five-year plan. And I feel like this person is kind of anxious to do that because they, they're just a kind of go with the flow kind of person. So you may get a little backlash with that, asking them to make plans, asking them to make a list, asking them to um, really think about the future because they want to kind of go with the flow and let the future come to them. They kind of go very naturally. But I definitely feel like this is a, a person who is a free spirit. Uh, unleash your inner wild child and get up and dance. So this may be someone who likes to dance. This may be someone who is very free spirited, very social. Um, this is someone who may be very wild at times. They may have a side to them that's kind of way out there like what are you doing next why are you doing that you know um or they may ask you to go to certain places as spur of the moments and you're like i've got to go to work i've got to do this you know i can't do it right now but this person is like urging you i feel like they're very assertive they talk you into things that you may not be ready for and yes this person thinks that you are beautiful with all of your curves, with all of your imperfections. This person finds you flawless. Yeah, this person looks at you for not just your outer beauty, but for your inner beauty. I feel like this person is very drawn to your spirit as well as your body this person is very attracted to you but they're they're attracted to you on multi levels i feel like this person is attracted to your mind as well as your body they're attracted to how you deal with things as well as the way you carry yourself the way you look um i feel like they see all facets of you Okay, this person or you, one of you wants to wait before you make any kind of decision. Will you marry? One of you wants to wait. One of you don't want to jump into it right away because you're not quite sure about something that's happening in your life. Um, one of you wants to plan and the other one wants to just jump right in. So that's making you want to wait. It's making you want to think things through. But I feel like you and this person will come to some sort of compromise um, with how you want to go about life. I feel like you're total opposites. I feel like you're not as spontaneous as this person. You may think things through. You may make plans. You may, you know, make appointments. And I feel like this person doesn't do that. They just kind of walk in and go with the flow. Um, and I feel like you're coming into some sort of compromise. You're compromising with this person. And because you're compromising, I feel like it's going to bring a true romance. You're going to finally feel that true connection with this person because you're compromising you're accepting this person for who they are and they're accepting you for who you are they don't want to change you but they also don't want you to change them they want you to let them have the freedom to be them you know if if they go into a store they may see somebody that they know that you may not know and it may be the opposite sex 
Um, but I feel like this person, if they call somebody sweetheart or if they call somebody, you know, hun or, or, you know, some kind of pet name, they want you to accept this is who they are, that they're not trying to cross your bounds. They're trying to just be themselves and they're hoping that you are not jealous over these small situations because the they're acknowledging to you that this is just who they are this is the person that they are i feel like this person likes to be out in nature they like to feel grounded they like to enjoy life they may like to just dip their feet in the ocean or water and just enjoy the moment i really feel like this person has a great passion for life Definitely. And I really feel like this person trusts where they're going. Maybe that's the reason why they're so spontaneous. They trust that the universe is taking them exactly where they're supposed to be. That's why they're so spontaneous. They're trusting. They're trusting where they're going. And they want you to compromise and put your trust in that as well. Okay, we have Isis magic manifesting your dreams visions and goals are becoming reality stay focused so yeah with this person i feel like you know you should follow your dreams um take notice of your dreams maybe it'll tell you more about this person but i feel like this what what this card is saying i feel like this person has manifested you in their life maybe you have manifested them Maybe you had envisioned someone in your life. You're creating this reality. Um, this is your focused intention. This may be their focused intention that you have come into their life. Okay, you have Archangel Michael, trusting heaven. You are safe. Angels, stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow miracles to occur. So definitely, I feel like this is someone that you can trust. This is someone who has your best intentions at heart. This is someone who wants to keep you safe, who will be your protector. And this also may be someone who's very spiritual, who maybe follows the rules of the angels. You know, they, they want to protect and guide you they want to surrender to the love that they feel for you they feel they want to ease any concerns any um any doubts that you may have but i feel like this person is very loving like i said i feel like this person is very fiery at times but i don't think that they mean any harm i feel like they don't want to see you hurt in any way, so they're willing to protect you. Even if they argue about little stupid things, I've, I feel like this person, that's just their nature. That's just who they are. I feel like they're just doing that to bring out their passion. They're very passionate about certain decisions. That's why I said them, this may be a fire sign because they, they're, they're very fiery at times. And this may cause some, you know, arguments, some conflicts, some challenges that you'll go through. But I feel like these are just very minor things. I, I feel like, you know, and every, every marriage <clears throat> has its obstacles. And especially when you're dealing with someone who is a total opposite of yourself, uh, I feel like it can be a challenge all in itself. But um, I, I feel like you'll be very compromising or this person will be very compromising and kind of, you know, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to come at you like that or I didn't mean to bring this up. But, you know, I felt this kind of way at this time. But yeah, and I, I feel like, but in the spur of the moment, in the, they are kind of, 
in the heat of the moment, they're kind of very fiery, very, um, they can be argumentative at times, you know, but I feel like that's just this person's nature. It goes with their spont spontaneity. It goes with their personality. Okay, we have date. So this may be someone new who's coming into your life. This may be someone that you haven't met yet. Um, or it may be someone that you're dating currently and um, that's going to flourish. You also have Cupid's arrow. So I feel like this is going to grow into something that's going to be very surprising because I feel like you're total opposites. I feel like you, you really don't see eye to eye on many things. Maybe that's the reason why I feel like this person is so fiery. They're, you know, challenging you in certain aspects. But I, yeah, I definitely feel like you don't see eye to eye. You don't have the same opinions about things. You're total opposites. But I feel like you are, <laughs> when you're coming together, when you're growing with each other, I feel like it all works out. I feel like it's going to all work out for your benefit. Okay, we have a sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one internal soul. For there you will find true bliss. Okay, so sexual union. So it may be that this is the only place in your situation where you truly mesh, where you truly connect. This person the sexual experience with this person is mind-blowing so it's like oh my god you know i'll deal with anything i'll deal with everything because this person just loves you in a way that it comes out in your love making it comes out in your sexual interactions and i feel like it's nothing you've ever experienced this is like the, the best sex you've ever had in your life. And this person is kind of making you feel like, wow, okay, I can deal with this person. I can deal with their fiery energy. I can deal with their spontaneity. Um, I can deal with whatever. I can compromise whatever because this person makes me feel like this when they hold me or when they make love to me or when we just have sex, you know. Okay, we have manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow his guidance. Yeah, so, I mean, this person is trusting that you are their miracle, that you are the person in their life who was meant to be theirs. And I, be I really believe, like, this person has manifested you. Even though you're total opposites, I feel like this person has really thought you up has brought you into their reality for a reason and now this may be you feeling this way as well but i really feel like this is something that that you both brought into reality you're both bringing this together okay what are this person's characteristics Okay, this person is a king of swords. So he is very, or she is very, very logical. Like I said, he doesn't really think things through, or she doesn't really think things through. They kind of go with the flow. But I feel like this person is very honest. They're very honest about the situation. And they may speak faster than they think. They may say things that comes out um, spur of the moment. They talk faster than they think. They, they talk without thinking. But yeah, I feel like this person is bringing a lot of change into your life. This person is... 
I feel like you're trying to do more things to be with this person. This person is very spontaneous. This person really likes to do things at the spur of the moment. They they like to be out in nature. They like to, you know, take journeys, go to new destinations, um, go on new adventures. And I feel like this person is showing you new things. They're, they're bringing some kind of new change into your life that is making you very hopeful that it will work. Yeah, okay. We have the five of wands. So yeah, this person is very, they're very spur of the moment, but they also have a lot of fiery energy. This person likes to battle. This person likes to play. Um, I feel like they, they work hard, but they play hard as well. And they like the sport of conflict. So, yeah, I feel like this person is playful to a point where they may start an argument with you just to be playful. I feel like this person has little sarcastic tones to them that, you know, kind of spur on a fight. They, they like to, if this is a guy, let me just say, if this is a guy, this guy likes to say things to you to make you hit him, to make you swat at him, to make you, you know, swat at him and say, you know, shut up, go on someplace. I stop playing with me. I feel like they're very playful. They like spur on a fight here. But I also feel like this person is very loving. This person is bringing you a love like you've never known before. They're very fiery. They're very spontaneous. But they love deeply. Very deeply. Okay. When will this happen? When will this happen? Okay, we have the Eight of Swords. So I feel like either you or this person, I feel like they ask you to marry them, but I feel like you or this person are constantly changing the date. You're putting delays on the situa situation. Um, I feel like this marriage is delayed. The dates are, are changing. They're constantly changing. They have good intentions on marrying you, but they just don't know when. They, they can't make up their mind or you can't make up your mind. I feel, but I feel like the date keeps being pushed back. The date keeps being pushed to a new date. And I feel like it's because you are this person. <laughs> you may have. You or this person may have ups and downs to where. You tell this person, no, I'm, I no longer want to marry you. I don't want you in my life. I don't want you this or that because you just pissed me off so much. But I feel like you keep. I feel like those are just words. They're just words coming out because I feel like you're just pouring this emotion out, but it's just spur of the moment kind of emotion. I feel like it's something that's not thought through. Maybe that's the reason why there's delays because you or this person are going through this situation. How does this person feel about you? Okay, this person feels that you are their queen, that you are their queen of wands. This could be a male or a female, but this person feels like you're totally, you have this feistiness about you that makes you so assertive that really pushes them to their limits. But they, they love you very passionately. They love being around you. They love the fire, the spark that you bring. 
They just love everything about you. And they feel very content in your relationship. This is something that they wished for. This is something that they hoped for. And they're willing to grow into it. They're willing to sacrifice anything that they need to sacrifice in order to gain this Nine of Wands energy. This is their wishes coming true. This is their reward. This is their lifelong stability. Yeah, definitely. And the star. So this is their healing. The, you bring them balance. You bring them something that they haven't felt before. You bring them something that brings them a lot of hope for the future. To be totally blunt, they're putting you in the spotlight. They're, you are the wish that they made upon a star. You make them very balanced, very focused. You kind of bring them back down to earth because I feel like they're being such a spontaneous nature. I feel like they're very spur of the moment. And I feel like you make them feel grounded. You bring something to them that brings them back to focus. What else do we have for pile number two? Where would this situation go? Tell me more about this person. Okay, yeah. Okay, you have the... <clears throat> You have the Two of Cups and the Sun. So yeah, this is going to be a very happy union. This now, I'm not to say this isn't going to have its challenges. This isn't going to have its obstacles. I've been with my partner, with my husband for going on 36 years. Yes, definitely. And can I tell you, we've been through some obstacles. We've been through some challenges. And our love has overcome all of those obstacles and challenges. It's seen us through. And that's how I'm feeling with this. I feel like your challenges, your obstacles are just going to make you into a better place. I feel like whatever you go through is kind of making you grow into this bigger, better person for your relationship. Every obstacle, every challenge that you go through is a lesson, is a lesson learned. And it takes you to a higher level in your learning, in your spirituality, in the way you carry yourself, and in the way you love. So I definitely feel like this is a union that's going to last for a very long time. It's going to bring you a lot of happiness. It's going to bring you a lot of joy, a lot of satisfaction. I definitely feel like your outcome is going to be very successful with who this person is. You're growing together in this situation. And I feel like this, whether you know it or not, this is your soulmate. This is your soulmate connection. It may not feel like a soulmate at first, but I feel like as time goes on, you feel like this is definitely the person that you're supposed to be with. This is the person you're supposed to live your life. Beautiful energy. Pile number two. Okay. So that is your reading. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. And if this reading doesn't resonate, make sure to take a look at the other timestamps for um, 
another message. Um, you can always take a look at more than one message if you'd like. Um, but this is your reading, pile number two. Many blessings to you. Love and light.